feel free to sing along, you know it. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wonder around and finally found somebody who would make I just really you. wanted to kind of get together with you and sort of ask you a little bit about yourself because when we were doing the tune in Tuesday program and you were with, you were with Ed, it just seemed like you were just having the greatest time. And I, I was curious, like, how did you get into caregiving in the beginning? How did you start into it? Well, I tell you, I was really young and I went to go and play at my childhood friend's grandmother's house and I noticed that she was bed bound and she hasn't been seen changed washed and something in me just said go ahead take it on you know and so I did I showered her bed bathed her you know I, I did all the personal care and it felt so good to me being young that it just hit me to do that and then I kind of fell in love with it so it was like my calling and so I, I did come from New York and I just started doing all the, all the training for it and very experienced. And it's just something I love to do. Yeah. yeah so it, so it's, it, you know, it, it seems that you have like a certain rapport with people, like you just make a connection and, you know, and that was what I was seeing with you, with Ed and, and the music. So how do you think the music helps in that way? I think music just changes people, you know, from having a bad day and they might hear a tune that, you know, made them happy in the past and it just changes their mood. And before you were doing the joyful melody program, I was actually using like kind of like my own music when I go into the memory care and I find that it works, you know, I kind of dove in on activities and I would dance with them and get them shaken, you know, and, it just made them happy. It really changed their day, you know? So music actually, I mean, it helps me. So I know it's helping them. So when you say it helps you, does it help you in a way to make you feel better or make, get more joy out of the work or how does it help you? It helps me to connect, you know, yeah. and I, I love music all around, you know, I, I start my day with music and I end my day with music, you know, it just, it keeps me happy. It keeps me going. And I like to give that to, you know, the people I care for. So I bring all the joy and some music and I get them going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I know that, that. Do you have like any, any stories that you remember like resident or a, a client that you were working with? that maybe was having a hard time and the music helped in some way? Yes. yes. So there's actually a few. Yeah. Uh, my mother-in-law being one. On her down days, you know, she's not really a music person. But lately I find that music is starting to help her. You know, it changes the way she thinks. It changes the way she feels. And even with, you know, some of my residents that I do care for, it just it changes them. I mean, I, I have some pretty good stories. I have a lot of stories, actually. Uh, but I had a grouch, you know, he didn't want no music at all. He didn't even want the sunlight. You know, he was just a grouch. And I kind of got him out of that shell. And I did, uh, I started singing to him, my sunshine and things like that. And one day he just started singing the sunshine song. Right. <laughs> and I said, you know, do you have any favorites? And so he liked a lot of opera. Um, and himself, he actually used to play. And I found out that because he couldn't play anymore is the reason why he didn't want to listen to any music. So it kind of put him in a depression that he couldn't do what he loved to do. But I kind of got him out of that shell and back into music. So it was something that it was a good thing. So in that also, it sounds like, you know, you, you gained some understanding, some insight into him. So it was maybe easier or the, the relationship could be better because he felt that maybe you understood where he was coming from? Yeah, I think so. Cause that actually made him open up more, 
you know, I started to learn more about him and uh, where his family came from and how he wound up, you know, being this musician. And it was very heartbreaking with Parkinson's that he couldn't do his computer uh, guitar anymore. Mm -hmm. So that kind of knocked the music out of him and he fell into a depression. Yeah. So yeah. I get him, I got him going. He was trying even with the Parkinson's. I mean, I said, you got to keep going, you know, keep doing yeah. what you love to do. So it, it was something for me, you know, I, I learned a lot from a lot of people, especially when I go into the music aspect of it, it brings them out more, you know, it's like an icebreaker, <laughs> you know, and mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> so do you, do you encourage like the other, other caregivers who you work I with? Do, I do. And I, I really try my hardest because I know, especially during the COVID time now, a lot of people are depressed. They can't really get out and do things. And so I try to bring that joy into their home, you know? So I do encourage a lot of the caregivers here to go ahead and, and tune into the Facebook, you know, put on Steve Toll, you know, let them listen to their favorite, their favorite tunes, you know, and just get them out of that little hole they're in, you know? Um, and this time is very depressing. And I, I do find that uh, creative activities and, and music and things like that, it works for them. It, it takes them out of that, okay, well, life is not over, you know, because of COVID. So I, I find that it helps. And a few of my caregivers have been doing it. And so we have pretty good report on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's great. So I mean, for you as a caregiver and others as a caregiver, do you think that that program, the Tune In Tuesday and music in general, makes the job more fun for you or better for you? It does. I mean, I just like to see people happy. I don't like to, I mean, they're already dealing with their health issues and being confused with dementia. I, I, it just, it, it helps me help them. And it's just overall a really good thing. That's great. Well, Desiree, thanks so much for talking to me today. And, um, you know, I think what you're doing is great. I really appreciate you and the energy you and Lori and Brad bring to it. So you guys have a great office there and a great thing going on. I, I well, thank you. you and keep playing those really good tunes because I enjoy them a lot. I really do. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. <laughs> thanks a lot. Talk You're to you welcome. Soon. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. <laughs>